universities, have they been using this quasi-legal process to help shut students down? And if so, will having an attorney help prevent that in the future? Absolutely. Uh, this is um, Their own procedures are what are usually used to shut students down, um, particularly with regard to uh, harassment or free speech zone policies, where they will tell students, well, you're allowed to speak freely, but you have to do it within a certain geographic region of campus. It's usually much smaller than uh, one would expect. Or uh, they'll define what a student said as harassment simply because it offends somebody or because someone was upset uh, by what's said. Having an attorney in that process uh, who in that case uh, would have the ability to say, uh, you know, number one, I want to make sure that all of our rules are followed. And number two, what about the Constitution? could be a huge boon because I think that in many cases, the uh, students or the student faculty and administration hearing panels who are hearing these uh, don't ever hear the constitutional argument. All they hear is, all they read is their own school's procedures and they say, oh, well, it says you can't offend anybody. And they don't, they don't hear and the student doesn't know because he's 18 or 19 that uh, this has already been adjudicated and the First Amendment does apply uh, to North Carolina's public, uh, public colleges and universities and in fact, public colleges and universities all across the country. It's not just a North Carolina problem, but I'm glad to see the solution starting here. Our time is running short, but do you suspect a law like this will help put a damper on some of the policies that universities and colleges use that are sort of uh, off the off the reservation in terms of what they should be doing in regarding student behavior? I think it definitely will. You know, many of these policies uh, we say at FIRE don't pass the laugh test when you read them out loud. They, they might look okay on the university's website or written in their student code of conduct, but when you actually uh, read out what they're saying, we, we have a We've run into policies that uh, ban discrimination based on hair color, uh, that ban inappropriately directed laughter. Uh, it's one thing to direct that at a, a cowed 18-year-old and say, hey, you inappropriately directed your laughter at this person. It's another to straight-facedly tell an attorney he inappropriately directed his laughter and see what the reaction you're going to get. I, I think that it will definitely bring some much-needed sunlight and reason to the process.